Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic. So the integral and zero exponents, then we have this given, so find the single value of the following without exponents. So we have this 2 to the power negative 2 times 3 to the power negative 1. So first, we need to rewrite this given with positive exponents. So if we have x to the power negative n, to make this exponent positive, so we can rewrite this one as 1 then over x to the power positive n. So for this given, this 2 to the power negative 2, so we can rewrite this one as 1 then over 2 to the power positive 2. Then times, so this 3 to the power negative 1, so we have 1 then over 3 to the power positive 1. Then simplify, so we have 1 over this 2 to the power 2, this one is 4, then times 1 over 3 to the power 1, this one is 3. Then simplify, so for the multiplication of fractions, so multiply these numerators, so 1 times 1, this one is 1, then over, multiply these denominators, so 4 times 3, that's 12, so we have this 1 over 12. Then for this given, so any number with exponent 0 always equal to 1. So for this given, this 10 to the power 0, this one is equal to 1, then plus 10, then simplify, so 1 plus 10, so we have now this 11. Then for this given, so we have now this 4, then times, so any number with exponent 0, that's always equal to 1, then plus 3, then times, so we can rewrite this one as 1, then over 3 to the power 1. Then simplify, so 4 times 1, this one is 4, then plus 3, then times, 1 over, so 3 to the power 1, that's 3, then we have now this 4 plus, so we can cancel this 3, so plus 1. Then 4 plus 1, so the final answer is positive 5. Then for this given, so we need to rewrite this 1 as 1, then over 5 to the power positive 1, then minus 1 over 2 to the power positive 3. Then simplify, so 1 over 5 to the power 1, this one is 5, then minus 1, then over 2 to the power 3, so we have 2 times 2 times 2, so 2 times 2, that's 4 times 2, so therefore this one is 8. Then for the subtraction of fractions, so we can use this uh, method, the cross multiplication, so 1 times 8, this one is 8, then minus 5 times 1, that's 5, then over this 5 times 8, that's 40, then simplify, so 8 minus 5, this one is 3, then over 40. Then for this given, so again, any number with exponent 0, this one is equal to 1. Then to the power, negative 10. Then we can rewrite this one as 1, then over 1 to the power, positive 10. Then we have 1, then over, so if the base is 1, the answer is always equal to 1. Or we have now 1 divided by 1, so we have positive 1. Then for this given, so this 2 to the power 4, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, so 2 times 2, that's 4 times 2, that's 8, and 8 times 2, that's 16. So this one is positive 16, then plus, so we can rewrite this one as 1, then over 2 to the power positive 2. Then simplify, so we have 16, then plus, 
1 over, so 2 to the power 2, this one is 4. Then for the addition of fractions, so we can put a denominator 1, then apply cross multiplication. So 16 times 4, this one is 64, then plus 1 times 1, that's 1, then over, this 1 times 4, that's 4, then simplify, so 64 plus 1, that's 65, then over, 4. Then for this given, so again, any number with exponent 0, always equal to 1. Then times, so this one is equal to 1, then plus 6, then to the power, negative 2. Then simplify, so we have 1, then times, this one plus 6, that's 7, then to the power, negative 2. Then we have now this uh, 1, then times, so we can rewrite this one as 1, then over 7 to the power 2. Then we have 1 then times 1 over this 7 to the power 2, that's 49. So we have now 1 then over 49. Then for this given, so again, we can rewrite this one as 1 then over 10 to the power positive 3. Then divide for this 10 to the power 3, that's 10 times 10 times 10. So 10 times 10, this one is 100, then times 10, that's 1000, then simplify, so we have 1 over, so 10 to the power 3, that's 1000, then we can change the operation to multiplication, then find the reciprocal, so this one is 1, then over 1000. Then simplify, so 1 times 1, this is 1, then over 1,000 times 1,000, this one is 1 million. So we have 1, then over 1 million. Then for this given, so to make this exponent positive, we need to bring up, so we have 1, then times negative 4 to the power positive 3. Then simplify, so we have 1 times, so this negative 4 to the power positive 3, so negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4, so negative 4 times negative 4, this one is 16, positive 16, and positive 16 times negative 4, so positive times negative, we have negative 64. So therefore, the final answer is 1 times negative 64, that's negative 64. Then for this given, so to make this exponent positive, so this one bring down and this uh, 4 to the power negative 1 bring up. So we have now 4 to the power positive 1, then over 7 to the power positive 2. Then simplify, so 4 to the power 1, this one is 4, then over 7 to the power 2, this one is 49, that's 7 times 7. So we have now 4 over 49. Then for this given, so to make this exponent positive, so bring up, so we have now 9 times 2 to the power positive 1. Then simplify, so we have 9 times, so 2 to the power 1, this one is 2. Then 9 times 2, that's positive 18. Then for this given, so from the laws of exponents, so if we have x over y, then to the power n, so we can rewrite this one as x to the power n over y to the power n. So in this case, so we have now this 3 to the power negative 2, then over 5 to the power negative 2. Then to make this exponent positive, so this 3 to the power negative 2, bring down, and 5 to the power negative 2, bring up. So we have now 5 to the power positive 2, then over 3 to the power positive 2. Then simplify. 
So this 5 to the power 2, that's 5 times 5. This one is 25, then over 3 to the power 2, that's 3 times 3, that's equal to 9. So we have now 25 over 9.